Hey, so today I will be talking about doing a preventive maintenance on this Bosch cooktop. It has been almost uh, three and a half years since we installed it and it has been giving some issues. So today we'll be looking at igniter problems, looking at cleaning this particular cooktop and doing a regular preventive maintenance. So let's look at these burners. A uh, few of these burners have giving me a problem because sometimes they don't uh, light up. One of the igniter has definitely gone because we need to use a gas lighter to, to light it up. So if you look at closely, uh, you can't see a spark here, but the other ones are firing correctly. Let's look at this one. This one is also firing correctly. This is a main burner. And then the other one, this one has some plastic one off from the bottom. So this is also not firing correctly. So if you look closely, the spark is going down instead of uh, coming up. And this one is firing correctly because if you look closely, the spark is coming right on the top. So let's uh, look at the process. How do we replace the igniter? So first you need to order igniter either from Amazon or manufacturer. So you will get these igniters either in pack of one or four. In this particular case, I will be replacing three of those out of five. So two are firing correctly. So we will be replacing uh, three of these. You also need a drill machine with a drill bit which is appropriate as per the screws on the burner in my case they were star and also you might need a rust resolver or dissolver uh, depending upon if you have some rust on your uh, screws Spray a little bit, leave it for 5 minutes. So I have a little rust here, just spray a little bit and just leave it for 5 minutes and then we will open it. So if you have a grease on your cooktop, you can use Easy Off or some other product to get, let the grease off. So we will be unscrewing these um, burners using a drill machine here and also taking this hook top off right so i have uh, ordered these parts which is for this particular bosch uh, cook top so this is the igniter this will look like something like this right so, so let's start the process first uh, take these knobs off so this will come off I put them in line so that you know which one is going where, although they are the same. Now let's uh, unscrew this. So now we will lift it off, right? Like this. Okay. So the top has come off. So what we will do is we'll just uh, clean it up. Put this easy off. So leave it for a few minutes. Right. Yes. Spray it here. Uh, we have to also switch off the power supply to this unit, right? So locate the power supply. In my case, it is at the bottom. So I will just go down. 
So I have this uh, power play to the cooktop. I just switch it off. Now we're ready to change the igniter. So you can see I have this igniter which needs to be changed. And I have the other two here. Maybe these two. Okay, it's all simple. Again, let's put some red dissolver. change your drill bit on your drill machine so this one is star let's see here okay so while i'm waiting for this rust to dissolve i can clean up uh, other things uh, on my cooktop here So you can start opening it, so if it is not coming off, so you can either unplug this cable from the back and just pull it like this, right? So you have this thing left, which you can break it off. You don't need this. Yep. So now you... Okay. We have removed the old igniters now. So one, two, and three. Now we got the screws here. So let's put some easy off, and then we'll keep them on side. So we'll just start replacing the igniters now. So take the igniters off the bag. So let's throw this in the bed. So this will come here, so the screw will go here. So I'll just hold it like this and then just push it to connect. And that's it. So just push it back and we'll bring our screws and tighten it. So let's uh, do this also here. So let's, yeah. So same thing here. So you have this top part, the screws goes here. Hold it like this. Just push it, push it and connect. 
one passage from here. Let's see. So get this cable out from here again. Same thing. This thing goes here. Push it back. So we'll get the screws here, tighten the screws and we should be done. So now we tighten the igniters back to the stove. Same thing here. And same thing here. So just um, that's it. So we're almost done. So we will just uh, assemble the things back. Uh, we are done here. I brought this uh, top back here. I placed it uh, so you can align the screws here, right? And then you can bring these uh, burners top on the back to so just uh, put them in their respective positions. Right. Just so. And now we can get our drill machine and just uh, tighten them one by one. Now we will connect the power back. Let's go down. Actually, we can see, you can zoom in right here, see, it is properly firing at the top here, let's look at the other one, these two, see this one, and let's look at the other one, 
is again firing at the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the top's back. So everything is, uh, so we can test this out, so everything is working really nice in first go. So that concludes our video, right, so if you have any questions, please uh, put in the comments and if you like this video, just like, press the like button and this is a part number which I used for this particular cooktop which is Bosch 36 inch uh, but this is also same for 30 inches. Thank you for watching.